Okay, so first of all, I'm going to copy the folder path and then open up Excel and go to data and get data from file and then from folder. Then I will paste the folder path in here and OK. Then I'll select transform data. And now I have a list of all of the files from all of the subfolders. And I also have other information about the files as well. And I can get more information by going to attributes and opening up this list here and then selecting the information that I want. For example, I will select the size and then OK. And now I have a column with the size of each file. I'll now delete the columns which I don't want. And I also want to have the name of the file without the file extension. So in order to get this, I'll go to transform and extract and extract text before delimiter. The delimiter will be a full stop and OK. And that will remove everything that comes after the full stop, which in this case is the file extension. And I end up with just the file names here. And I also don't want to have the whole of the folder path here. I want just the name of the folder that the file is directly in. So in order to get this, I'll go back to extract and this time select text between delimiters. And the start and end delimiters will be a slash. Then in advanced options, I'll select scan from the end of the input and scan towards the start of the input. And so what this will do is start looking on the right hand side and then go backwards and find the value which is in between the two slashes which are closest to the right hand side and OK. And now I have the name of the folder which the file is directly inside of. I'll now go to home and close and load in order to get this table into Excel. Now if I go back to the folder and paste in another subfolder with more files in it, I can then go back to Excel and right click on the table and select refresh and it will add in these new files for me. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to get a list of file names from a folder and subfolders into Microsoft Excel using Power Query. And that is everything.